never stream through Wi-Fi. And I know a lot of you are saying, well, Cheryl, how can we stream other than Wi-Fi? We're using our phones. We're using our tablets. How can we not stream using Wi-Fi? How can we create a stable stream? Well, what you'll need to do is you'll need to hardwire your system. And yes, you can hardwire your system without breaking the bank. Hey everybody, it is Coach Cheryl and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I create content to help small churches, ministries, nonprofits, and Christian entrepreneurs do better with media. Whether it is social media, live streaming, or print media, writing books, or the tools that you need to do so, I am here to help you. If that sounds like content that you would enjoy, I want you to go ahead, click that like button. Also click the subscribe button so that you'll be notified and you'll know what we're doing on this channel. But enough about all of that. Let's jump in to the video and to the solutions that will help you in your live streaming. Now I've been there where I have been so frustrated with my live streams that just either buffered so terribly or that just cut off for what I thought was no reason because I thought I really had a strong Wi-Fi signal. And so I want to tell you one thing, you should never stream through Wi-Fi. And I know a lot of you are saying, well, Cheryl, how can we stream other than Wi-Fi? We're using our phones. We're using our tablets. How can we not stream using Wi-Fi? How can we create a stable stream? Well, what you'll need to do is you'll need to hardwire your system. And yes, you can hardwire your system without breaking the bank. The first thing that you'll need to do is to contact your internet service provider. What you may want to see is if they could move the internet connection closer to where you use your AV box, whether you're using an iPad, an iPhone, or if you're using a computer, can you install a hardwired system close enough to that? The second thing that you'll need to do is to buy an adapter, especially if you're using a phone or an iPad or a tablet as your video device. Now, if you're using something like Switcher, you'll need to get um, an iOS adapter. And I'm gonna show you the kinds of adapters that you can um, use. And I'm also gonna drop a link in the description box as to where you can get this. So what you'll need is a connection that looks sort of like this, and it has a lightning connection to it. So you'll connect the lightning connection to either your iPhone, your iPad, like such, and then it has an ethernet connection as well. And so you could connect that to um, the internet router. So straight from the router into your adapter into either your iPhone or your iPad. That way you'll have a stable connection that you can use to stream from and you don't have to worry about buffering, dropping, or any of that. Especially for those of you that are using Switcher Studio where you're only using iPhones and iPads. And for those of you that are on computers and you want another hardwired solution, I'm going to show you this one. Let's see if I can get it in. There you go, you see it. <laughs> what I love about the TP-Link is that it is plug and play. And I mean that seriously, it's plug and play. You'll get two devices. One device that you'll plug in an outlet in the wall and you'll connect it to your router. The second one is you'll connect it wherever your computer is in your sanctuary, in your um, office, where you do your live streaming. Connect that and also into a wall outlet and it'll have an ethernet cord to it. One that you could connect to your computer that you're streaming from and the other that you connect into the second device. That way you can also stream via hardwire that offers a stable connection that you don't have to do over Wi-Fi. Now, one thing I want to um, mention is that after you have connected all of your devices, your phone, your iPads, or your computers using these hardwire solutions, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget to turn the Wi-Fi signal off on your device so that you're actually going using the hardwire solution and not and not and not the Wi-Fi which is susceptible to droppage slippage um, buffering and totally dropping all of the frames and leaving your people in the dark I hope these two solutions have been helpful for you and so I'll drop the link so that you can secure either one of those devices in the description box 
and I pray that you have happy, successful streaming. Now, I do want to leave a caveat before I go. No streaming solution is perfect because it's technology. Sometimes it fails, but using a hardwire solution is always going to be better than depending on Wi-Fi, which is fickle. We all know sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But these hardwire solutions are going to give you probably 90, 95% uptime and you don't have to worry about, you know, dropping frames. You don't have to worry about your people being in the dark because your live stream went off. So what solution do you use when you stream? Let me know in the comments. I'm always open to see different devices, different tools and technologies that are maybe up and coming that I may not know about. Drop those in the comments so that I can be aware of it. Again, thanks so much for joining me. And if you haven't already hit that like button, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and do that now. Also be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll know when I drop a new video. Again, thanks so much for coming and I'll see you in the next video.